We're looking at a project today that is absolutely ready to melt faces in the crypto space. The chain's mainnet isn't even a year old and it's only been building since being released. It keeps getting stronger really by the minute. And as you can see, its main focus is gaming. However, it's also making waves in DeFi. With only 29 listed DeFi projects as per DeFi Llama, it occupies the 12th spot in terms of TVL, that's total value locked. Add deep into this equation, as well as RWA real world assets, and you really do have a white hot prospect right now that is hitting on all the right narratives. Say hello to Sui. Welcome to the channel. My name is Maddie, and this is Altcoin Buzz. All the best of luck to you if you choose to invest during this crypto bull run. I hope fortune is on your side. But I'm not a financial or investment advisor either way, so just remember this video is not official financial or investment advice. Okay, big picture here. Let's zoom out for a moment and consider the wide angle perspective. What is SUI? Well, it's a layer one blockchain that has a few things going for it right now, as I mentioned. For starters, it uses the MOVE coding language. That's M-O-V-E. SUI's founders worked at Diem. That was the blockchain project by Meta. That's where they developed MOVE, the coding language. And the thing is that MOVE's smart contracts and its custom transactions make for fast transactions and instant finality. That finality part means you cannot reverse a transaction. Furthermore, transaction costs are very low on SUI. Gas fees are also super low, around 0.002797 SUI, or about 2,800,000 or so missed, M-I-S-T. That's what we call the smaller SUI denominations. And so with the current SUI price of $1.78, that amounts to about 0.5 cents per transaction. However, the current reference gas price is 750 missed. That is peanuts, by the way. The older Explorer shows this number, but the new one does not. Uh, however, these are some of the cheapest fees in the industry. So even when the SUI price goes up, the transaction fees stay low, which is nice. Fast and cheap transactions are also exactly what you need for gaming or for finance, by the way. And these are two verticals where SUI particularly shines. Another area where SUI really is at the forefront of innovation in crypto is privacy because their ZK login offers the option to sign into Web3 with Web2 credentials. So for example, with Facebook or Google, that means it's fast, it's secure, and as easy to use as you can imagine. It's also a familiar way of signing in for everyone. Uh, in other words, it's a great way to onboard Web2 users to Web3 dApps. So the project does use zero knowledge tech, which means that it's private. To clarify this, your credentials are not strewn all over the place, which is something that unfortunately can easily happen with Web2 security measures. Okay, so that's the context, and those are most of the high level points as to why we're excited about this project. Let's take a closer look now at the SUI ecosystem. SUI is building a breakthrough ecosystem that is just replete with innovations. Some of its main use cases are in gaming, finance, I mentioned both of those already, but also commerce. So I'm gonna highlight a few handpicked projects on SUI to illustrate the points that I'm making here. And these are gonna cover various verticals, uh, which really speaks to SUI's variety. For example, we have Bluefin, which is a platform that offers perpetual trading, which as you probably know is a favorite form of trading in the crypto space especially. The perps are derivatives that don't have an expiry date here. So this allows you to play the market with what you think the future price is gonna be on the derivative. And Bluefin has already released its V2 platform, although it does not yet have a token. And with that in mind, here on screen is an airdrop alert with the platform's trade and earn program. It also offers spot trading with SUI's on-chain order book. Furthermore, it's a wallet-less trading experience. Another great project in the SUI ecosystem is Cetus. And here we have a DEX with SUI's third largest TVL. It's also a concentrated liquidity protocol, which means that it allocates liquidity within a specific price range. And that allows you to earn transaction fees more efficiently. Cetus also offers very low slippage. Another SUI ecosystem project is Pseudo Finance. And with Pseudo here, we're entering the RWA space, that is real world assets, as well as synthetics. So we're getting very heavy now into the DeFi space when it comes to Pseudo Finance. And synthetics expose you on chain to RWAs. So for example, stocks, commodities, or fiat currencies. However, you don't own the underlying assets. Synths mimic them. We also have DeepBook, which is a liquidity layer for SUI. It's a decentralized central limit order book. So it's DeFi, but you trade like a centralized exchange. It's basically SUI's native order book built by Mistin Labs. It doesn't have an end user interface for token trading. 
We also have the Sui wallet. Uh, this is Sui's native wallet, also built by Mistin Labs. And they seem to be working on a few different developments here. Maybe even a mobile version uh, is something that we can expect in the near future. That's speculation, not that I know for sure, but it's a possibility. And also we have Fallen Arena, which brings us into the gaming component of the Sui ecosystem. Fallen Arena is part of the E4C gaming series by Ambrose Studios. And you can use all in-game assets in the form of NFTs in the follow-up game called Final Salvation. That one, however, is still under development. Okay, now it's time to take a look at some Sui D-Pin projects, beginning here with Carrier One. It is a decentralized mobile network, and its goal is to make wireless connectivity available in underserved communities. Now, this should result in providing telecommunications and phone numbers to users within Web3. And the cherry on top is that Carrier One offers money transfers by phone numbers, which of course eliminates the need for a bank account for those that can't otherwise obtain one. Next up, in terms of D-Pin, we're looking at Chirp, which is also very active in terms of decentralized connectivity. Users own the data when it comes to Chirp, not corporations. And if you took part in the Commonwealth Quests, which we covered on this channel, check out our previous coverage, if you took part in those, you may have actually heard of Chirp already. It's one of the projects backed by Commonwealth, and it does not yet have a token, but Chirp wants to be the global provider for IoT and mobile services. It's actually all set to connect the largest amount of data to a blockchain. And if you're into meme coins, not that I'm pushing them, but if that happens to be your nature, then Sui also has those on offer. You can trade in and out of, for example, FUD the Pug, ticker F-U-D. It's down slightly as I record, uh, but take a look at the last month. It's up something like 400% over the last 30 days. And speaking of nice price performance, we're looking here at Sui SUI, which is up a handful of percentage points on the day, now sitting at $1.78 with a market cap of $2.19 billion. And we're looking at the max chart here. So this goes back to early summer 2023. If you're active in any of Sui's ecosystem projects, let me hear some feedback. Let me know how you're enjoying them and whether or not you're already using or are a fan of or are looking forward to the ones that we've covered in this video. There are actually a whole lot of other projects uh, that are in the Sui ecosystem, of course, that we weren't able to get to. They're pretty numerous. So let me know if I mentioned your favorite. Uh, if not, let me know in the comments below which one that is because hopefully we'll have a chance to cover it again uh, in the future. And by the way, check the link that we're including in the description below of this video, because if you like what you've heard so far about Sui and its rapidly expanding and growing ecosystem, then you can also download and try out the Sui wallet for yourself. Again, I'll include that link in the description below. And so if this market pulls back hard under this level and then consolidates and comes back, we're likely to sell and stall.